Hey there, guys. Welcome back to Source Fed Nerd. Hope you had a great weekend here. Those beautiful headlines you've been sweating over. A Lego superfan created a working safe out of the little bricks. Details about the upcoming X-Men TV shows has been released. A new cyborg is about to hit the market, and it's pretty slick. And a Star Wars explosion. Everything you need to know. But first, let's talk about Gambit, the problem child over at Fox. A year ago, the movie seemed like a cash cow, but now it seems to be riddled with problems. Hey, remember when we almost lost our leading man? Let's be honest, that was just holding out for money. Well, that was smart, because he got us sweating over it. And then we lost a director we're just scheduling conflicts now we can all calm our tits because it looks sam we have to calm the calm the tits i will not calm the tits let your let your I bosoms go not... oh <laughs> we've got a new director oh there you go let it let him go oh okay did that hurt hmm? you okay mm -hmm. okay mm. anywho channing tatum is reportedly courting doug lehman to direct the cajun card thrower solo outing now doug lehman made a name for himself by directing such hits as the born identity and edge of tomorrow Ooh. now called live die repeat die. <sighs> fuck i don't live die f i would watch that live die fuck <laughs> Yeah. Wow, that's a weird order, huh? If you've not seen Edge of Tomorrow... Live, die, repeat. Fuck. All right. I highly recommend it. I, why did they change the title after they put the movie out? Oh, it's, it's called it? Terrible Marketing. Doug would be a great choice to direct, in my humble opinion, but my opinion means diddly squat right now. Lehman is also in line to direct the sequel for Edge of Tomorrow. However, that movie will work out, really, because that movie didn't really lead to a sequel at the end no, of it. No, it was sequel a standalone. Bait. They kind of just... They put a nice little button at the end of that. I liked that. Yeah, you don't need another one. So now it's just a waiting game. That's fine, Doug. We're patient. Super patient. We can wait. As long as you need. A uh, long time. We'll actually have to get back to waiting in a second, but don't go anywhere, Doug. Be right back. Hey, moreover at FX, Noah Hawley spoke out about the X-Men series Legion, which is about Charles Xavier's mutant and schizophrenic son that's currently being developed. Now, many fans have been clamoring to know where this show will take place. Is it in a shared X-Men universe, similar to what Marvel's doing with Daredevil and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., or will it be a standalone universe? Hey, FX, why don't you just tell us? Tell us, please. Holly stated, it's conceived more as a standalone. I don't want to say too much more about it on that level. So no Hugh Jack, <gasps> no Ellen Page, no Patrick Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> Does it sound like I'm crying? No, it sounds like you stubbed your toe. I don't know, it's probably a good thing in the long run. Writers don't have to be kept within this like grand universal plan. They don't have to think about it in the back of their heads. Mm. They can just use whatever characters they want. Oh yeah, it's kind of similar to the freedoms over at DC with there their go. TV shows, you know. And when asked about the crossover with Hellfire, the X-Men show being produced for Fox, Hawley stated that there haven't been any conversations about it, but he does know that Hellfire is somewhat more attached to the X-Men movie-verse while Legion is on its own. Holly answered another fan question regarding the choice of making a Legion TV show, because from our point of view, he's a somewhat nobody in the eyes of a non-comic book reader. TV Insider caught up with Noah, who explained, what I really like about him is, here's a character who's schizophrenic on some level, a character struggling with mental illness. Is he crazy, or does he have these powers? The answer is, mm, kind of both. Ooh. 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 So are you excited for Legion? Maybe Hellfire? Let me know down below. Now, technology and toys usually make for some epic creations, and we're always delighted to see what people make out of the long-running, best-selling building blocks, Lego. Brickmaster Jason Orleman has created a fully functional and impenetrable three number combination safe. He uploaded the instructional video on his YouTube channel saying, the lock works just like any typical three number combination lock. I've also designed it so that it is impossible to take it apart without knowing the combination or physically breaking pieces. Give me my hammer and my ax. Boom! Now this means that anyone, if you have the means, the supplies, and can take instructions really well, can build their own mini safe. Let's add this to the awesome creations made by LEGO users like this Volvo car, a battleship, the Serenity, and this mech suit from our previous video. Stop ooing. This is worse. That's ooh worse. You, 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 you ooh too much. Ooh. You're an over ooh. -er. Ooh. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> now it's like you're feeding me back the yeah. ooze. <laughs> that's what you get. And some fun tech news that's just another step towards a Wally -E future. A Chinese tech company has unveiled a brand new take on those popular self-balancing scooters. It's called the Ninebot Mini, and at first glance, it's kind of somewhat cumbersome, and overall, not as cool as the original. Oh, cool is definitely a subjective word hey. that I would use when describing those. Hey! I don't... Mm. I got from point A to point B at the speed of walking without walking. That's what scares me. We're on different pages, then. Bye! There are some perks to this version of the non-hovering hoverboards. This little baby only weighs in at 28 pounds, which is around 13 kilos. The handles make it easy to carry around, but not to store. It hits a clean 10 miles per hour on a good charge, and it clocks in around 315 bucks. And when compared to other premium cyboards, that's what they're called, mm -hmm. cyboards, 
This is a steal. Does this mean that we'll get it? Mm, probably probably not. not. Do you think it's a good idea to buy a bunch of them and then create a roaming street gang on cyborgs? Hell Absolutely. Yes. Hell yes. Hell yes. Oh, I think that's great. We, Sam, we should do that. We're going to be on the same page. We go, well, like, Monday. We're we'll going to be start a our, gang. Yeah. Start a gang. I'm so down. We are starting a gang that's on record. What about you guys? Will you buy one of these? Or are you still too cool for these hoverboards? Sam, you know they're not really hoverboards. <laughs> It's the closest we're gonna get, Mod. I have faith in the future. And now, it's the news we've all been waiting for, Star Wars news. So where to start? Disney dropped a new poster seemingly split between the light side and the dark side of the Force, with the main focus being Rey, sandwiched between Kylo Ren and Finn, with some epic lightsaber wielding action. Ooh. You just ooed again. I know, I did, but I didn't smile. <laughs> we see Han Solo and Leia, who is looking a lot more regal. Could she be Queen Leia? Good observation. <laughs> Thank you. And Captain Phasma flanked by her soldiers. All the droids, including BB-8, are in it, sidling up to Poe Dameron. And epic spacecraft Millennium Falcon and X-Wings are flying off to battle lower on the poster. Two questions keep circulating. What is that? Is that a new Death Star? There, right, right there. See the raging cannons in the trench? No? no. Tell me I'm wrong. I can't see. Oh my. And as much as we keep crying, Luke, 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 we still can't see him anywhere. Hmm. Over the weekend, there were a few teasers that literally tease us about the trailer that will be debuting during the football of all things on ESPN. So spoiler, if you're trying to dodge any more new footage from the film. There is 16 seconds of new footage and you can see Daisy Ridley, AKA Ray, hanging out with BB-8, her BB mate, nice. and spots a fleet of TIE fighters flying overhead and she looks understandably confused. See, this is what I'm really excited about with the yeah. new movies, is that with the other movies, he had George Lucas, like his specific vision of the story Star Wars universe, but like with that shot, it's so freaking cool and new yeah. to like, it's just somebody, it's a new set of eyes on an already popular universe franchise. So that's why I want to see the movie. I want to see what J.J. Abrams does with it. Yes, yeah, Sam is excited to see this movie. He just doesn't masturbate with a lightsaber. Then Poe jumps out of his X-Wing to see Finn. Looks like they're heading into war. And mm. lastly, how's that montage of epic gazes from Rey, Poe, BB-8, and Finn? Why are you holding the back of my head in case I, I felt like we are, No, I feel like we are gazing together. <laughs> <laughs> the full and final trailer will be played during ESPN's Monday Night Football broadcast tonight, October 19th, specifically during halftime. Now, the game itself begins around 5.15 p.m. PT, or what's that, 8.15 Eastern time? There you go. If you're in the United States of America. America. But we don't know when halftime's going to be, so you may have to watch some of the Sprout game. Many people are a little confused as to why Star Wars is being launched during football, but hey, Geeks can love sports too, and ESPN is owned by Disney, so uh -huh. pay money. Hey, more good news. If you want to buy tickets when the movie comes out in eight weeks, you can. But don't expect it to be an easy feat. Some cinemas released earlier pre-sales, but most will go on sale tonight when the trailer has launched. Ooh, you doing it again? I know. A View spokesman said it had sold 10,000 tickets in 90 minutes, while Odin and Picture House's site crashed, with the latter spokesman saying, we're working on it. We've had an unprecedented demand for tickets. Oh, come on. It's fucking Star Hello. Wars. Hello. How many th did you think they were going to get? <laughs> <laughs> I'll walk in the park. Now, if you're just as pumped for the video game as the movie, PlayStation has released a new trailer for Star Wars Battlefront, and it really tugs on the heartstrings fueled by nostalgia for the long-term fan like you and I. Actually, I mean, not me. Don't really. dare squash my dreams. Basically, it's showing you that you can live out your childhood dreams by smashing through a glass window with a chair to get out of that dull nine-to-five job and jumping onto an X-Wing so you can go into battle with your bestie who's loved Star Wars just as much as you for just as long as you. Oh, gosh, it's good to be alive. So, will you be playing Battlefront? Have you already bought your tickets? Are you worried about the lack of Luke? Are you raging? For Ray, are you fond of Finny? Pining for Poe, will you watch Sprite just to see the trailer? Ooh, ooh, breathe mud. You're turning a little dark. I am not on the dark side. I'm a Jedi like my father before me. Okay. Bad guys have that color. So here's something you may not be aware of, and if not, you're welcome. For Even Peoples is the number one place to buy unique quality merch, especially leggings. Wow, we Sam, they are vibrant, they look comfortable, and they let you become your favorite hero. Hey, Head over to forhumanpeoples.com now to check out the latest range of leggings so you can look your best. Hey, there's also a Jack O'Lantern pair right in time for the scariest night of the year, Halloween. Thank you, Tora Muscle. Hey, hey, hey. If you've never bought from Four Human Peoples before, you can use the code SFNERD for a one-time 10% discount off your entire order. Oh! Here's the flash. I guess I ain't that. Give me all your money. Oh God, see, uh, who could he be? He definitely doesn't have gloves on, so all of his fingerprints are everywhere. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> something cracked. <laughs> <laughs>